Hi there, I'm Sarah Baldwin, the owner of Bella Luna Toys. I'm a Waldorf teacher and the mother of two Waldorf graduates. And this is Sunday with Sarah, my weekly video blog series. And I want to wish a happy spring to all of you. It finally feels like spring is starting to come here in Maine. It comes really late and it's been a really cold, long winter. But uh, today is sunny and snowdrops are poking up and Anyway, Easter is only a few weeks away, so I thought it would be fun today to share with you some ideas for creating an all-natural, eco-friendly Easter basket for a child. Easter is one of my favorite times of year at Bella Luna Toys because we have so many wonderful products for spring, and spring is my favorite season, which is why I have this print hanging in my house here. I love spring. Um, so to start with, instead of just a cheap cheap basket made in China throwaway basket we offer a couple of styles of Bolga baskets that are really sturdy baskets made in Ghana they are made for us from um, a company called Blessing Basket which is a nonprofit company that's doing wonderful work in Ghana so proceeds from the sale of these baskets go to helping villagers to grow more crops to improve their nutrition to provide jobs and it's a wonderful company where the, the workers are paid a living wage, so we feel really good about offering blessing baskets. Each one is signed by the artist who made it. And the nice thing about these baskets, this is called the Swing Bolga. It's got a swinging handle, and it's got this lovely graceful shape. Every one is one of a kind. Um, no two are exactly alike, but they're all beautiful. But they're so sturdy. The nice thing is, is that long after Easter, this basket can be used for storing toys or to be used as a lunch basket or a picnic basket or a play market basket for a child. Uh, if it loses its shape, you can soak it in water and reshape it and let it dry countless times. It will be used for years to come. So you've got your basket and instead of filling it with plastic grass, there are a couple alternatives I'd love to share with you. One is you could grow your own real grass, which looks so beautiful. Um, I recommend starting your grass about a week before Easter. And we do offer an Easter grass kit that makes it really simple. It comes with a growing medium that you soak in water, and uh, which is like a, a soil and the grass seed and instructions. You could also, without a kit, you could just buy wheat berries from your local food co-op or health food store and get some potting soil. You wanna keep the seeds really wet and moist for a week till the grass sprouts. And in about a week, it'll be nice and green and high. And you could just um, put something on the bottom of the basket, a little plate and, and have your East, real live Easter grass growing there. It's gorgeous. Um, or another alternative is to use a green place silk. So again, long after Easter, instead of putting all that plastic grass into the trash and ending up in a landfill, you can, your child will have a beautiful place silk to be played with in so many ways throughout the year. In case you're not familiar with place silks, children play with them in so many ways. They can be a, a veil or a cape or tied around the waist to be a belt, or they can make a little scene with your Ostheimer, Ostheimer animals, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so to use a play silk in your basket, I'm going to put some just some tissue paper here in the bottom to give it some height, and then I can just put the play silk over it. Simple as that, and it's ready to fill with treasures. Uh, so what to put in the basket now that you've got your basket? Well, eggs, of course, and um, we have a couple of, of fun kits for making Easter eggs. Uh, our Eco Eggs Kit is six packets of all-natural dyes that are made from totally from food products like blueberries and carrots and result in beautiful, very beautiful natural colors. Natural colors always seem really harmonious with each other. 
Um, these have been really popular. Um, we love them. If you want to get fancy, you could make Ukrainian Easter eggs with our Easter egg kit. This is great for older children, a great craft for kids seven and up. Um, I'd say ages seven to 12 probably need some adult supervision. Kids 12 and over can make beautiful eggs themselves. And this kit includes instructions, everything you need, little tool called a kitska, which you paint on um, your designs with, and then you do several layers of dye. And I'm sorry, I don't have a Ukrainian egg here, a finished one to show you, but the book includes all kinds of traditional Ukrainian designs, very well illustrated. Um, so these are new this year, but but uh, this is this is uh, an art that I've really enjoyed doing myself in the past, and um, hope you will too. You could also make felted Easter eggs, and we've got a um, felted spring eggs kit. I made a video last year demonstrating how to do that. You can find it on my blog, moonchildblog.com. Search the archives for felted Easter eggs. Um, this kit makes it really easy. comes with six colors of, of wool roving, dyed wool roving. And we also have a felted chicks kit. These are adorable. I used to make these with, the, I used these kits years ago when I taught kindergarten and made these at Easter time with the children. And uh, make a little chick shape. You can start with a wool, uh, a felt wool ball, put a little rubber band around to shape a little head, and then you uh, sew on a little felt beak and and eyes, embroider eyes, a little bit more more um, complicated than the felted eggs, but really, if you're crafty, I think you'll really enjoy this, and the chicks are adorable. And let's see, new this year, Blastics. This is a, a nifty little tool. It's included with the Ukrainian eggs kit, but you can use this little tool to, to blow out your eggs. And if you want to, um, the Ukrainian eggs are usually made with eggs that are blown. Um, and you can also make blown Easter eggs. You could dye them with your eco eggs, put a little ribbon through and hang them on bare branches to make an Easter egg tree and store them very carefully and enjoy that tree year after year. And what else can we put in the basket? Well, you may want a little bit of chocolate, maybe a chocolate bunny or a few jelly beans, but if you don't want to put any sweets or candy in at all, there are lots of alternatives. Um, and a lot of our families um, collect Ostheimer figures, as my own family did when my children were younger. And we would always, uh, my children would always get a couple new figures at Christmas time, and Easter is another great time to add to their collection, especially little animals, like a lamb. The, at Easter time, the bunnies are extremely popular. We've got our little brown bunny with low ears, and a little black and white sitting bunny, and little chicks, little yellow chicks, and little brown chicks, and the um, flower children. We have several different flower children that are lovely for a springtime basket from Ostheimer. Um, and then beeswax candles. I love this, this one of this walking bunny with a walking stick and a hiking. He's hiking and has a basket on his back. The little wick is right in his basket. So this is a nice alternative to a chocolate bunny and can be used on a nature table or on your dining room table during the springtime. They're almost too pretty to burn. And speaking of pretty, this is maybe one of my favorites. It's wrapped in cellophane. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a beautiful carved Easter egg with a floral pattern. It's just exquisite. And um, finally, we've got these little puzzles. These are made in Russia. The sale of these puzzles benefit a Waldorf school in Russia. And it's just four pieces. There's the tree top and the tree trunk. And there's a little bird and a little bunny. This is called the rabbit in tree puzzle. So the four pieces come out and can be put back together. Um, but that's just another sweet little gift for a child's Easter basket. 
Um, and in addition, you know, um, crystals or polished stones are a nice addition, seashells that you find, anything that you make by hand, any little craft uh, can really create a really special, special basket for springtime. So I hope these gave you some ideas. We have lots more uh, springtime offerings if you go to bellalunatoys.com. Check out our, our category seasonal toys and you'll see lots of fun new things for springtime. So thanks for being with me today. I hope this gives you some ideas. Wishing you all a very happy spring and a happy Easter. See you next time. Bye-bye.